this is the second session we are going to take up now standard input output functions has been classified into two categories formatted input output and unformatted input output we'll take up the first category formatted input output the most commonly used predefined functions in formatted input output are printf scanf and clear screen printf is a function by this function we can display any value on the screen through c program syntax is right printf and in a set of braces within a set of quotes whatever text you type is displayed on the screen printf control string and a variable name to print the variable content to use printf statement you need to include hash include stdio dot h standard input output dot h say main function set of braces and open the brace close the brace within this block we are supposed to write our code my code is i need to print something on the screen as i said use printf statement open and close braces semicolon that is a full stop in c language set of double quotes in which you can write some text first program now to check there are any errors or not use alt f9 as you can see there are no errors in this program okay and now say control f9 to see the output first program is my output as the printf statement prints on the screen likewise to print something we use printf to get something from the keyboard use scanf by this function user can enter values of variable at run time or at the time of execution syntax is scanf the control string and comma ampersand variable name scanf control string comma variable name 1 comma variable name 2 for example use scanf open and close brace and let the text be enter values i'm using integer variables a comma b and in scanf i need to accept two values say Person D as person D is the format specifier for integers. Person D another uh, format specifier. Comma the first person D is for A say ampersand A comma ampersand B that is for the second person D. Now say again control F9 to see the output. As you can see the output is enter values. The first value is four and the second value is sixty seven. so likewise you can give certain inputs from the keyboard when you use scanf to modify this program after receiving the inputs from the keyboard say printf sum is person d another integer that is a plus b now with this program you can print the sum of 3 and 4 which is 7 this way you can input some values from the keyboard by using scanf and you can print it on the screen by using printf to use both scanf and printf don't forget to use hash include stdio dot h clear screen the third function we use is clear screen to use clear screen we need to include hash include conio dot h or console input output dot h what clear screen does is after printing something on the screen as you can see certain inputs are still available on the screen when you use clear screen all these previous outputs will be cleared from your output window like for example clear screen now just observe the program once at the end i have four lines of output on the screen but when i use clear screen 
check after giving certain inputs 4 plus 4 printing is done right after that because of clear screen I'll be clearing my previous outputs this is what CLR SCR stands for clear screen it will clear all your previous outputs if you want to use clear screen don't forget to use hash include conio dot h console input output dot h unformatted input output the second category of input output is unformatted input output input functions are get cat get ch get ch -E and gets get stand for get string we'll take up get char to use get char you need to include stdio.h the void main function in this get char get a character what it stands for so this function will give me a character from the keyboard that character i am saving it in a char variable so the get character will give a character into C which I'll print on the screen. To print integers we need to use percent %d as the format specifier but this is a character so we need to use percent %c as the format specifier comma the variable that is C. Now say control F9 to see the output the output is it is expecting you to enter a character which is D and is displayed on the screen because of get CH compiler is expecting you to give a character once you press a character from the keyboard is given into the variable C which is displayed on the screen with the help of printf if next thing is get CH the difference between get char and get ch is if you use get char you need to give a character as well as press enter but using get ch once you compile the program to use get ch don't forget to use hash include conio dot h console input output dot h compile the program now get ch get ch means even compiler is expecting you to press a character but once you press a character its display it is given onto the screen and is displayed on the screen observe the program once again get char press a character and also press the enter key get ch simply press the character next thing get ch e get ch e also works very close to get ch e stands for echo find out the difference the character what you pressed is displayed on the screen as well as by using the printf statement displays the character what you pressed because once you press a character is given into the variable C and is displayed on the screen. Get S or get string. When you have set of characters, you will be saying in this way. And a set of open and close brace over here. Now by using without using printf if you say get s get a string and name it so now when i compile this program india has been accepted india has been accepted so when you have when you need to give more than set of one or two characters go for get s s stands for string the basic definition of string is more than two characters after this 
we have the next type of format specifier as put char put ch and puts as get char get ch gets all these are used to get something from the keyboard put char put ch stands to put something onto the keyboard now let us see an example get char c it gets get ch it gets a character from the keyboard when you say put ch what you have on c is displayed on the screen now compiler is expecting me to give a character that is what that is why cursor is blinking over there press e and press enter q will be because of put ch you have displayed e on the screen put char compiler is again expecting me to give a character press a key and press enter because of put ch e is displayed on the screen so when it is get char get ch it will get certain characters from the keyboard and when it is put ch put char it will display certain characters on the keyboard coming to puts when you have more than one character like india now it's not put ch because ch is character we are not printing character this time on the screen we are printing string that is more than two characters along with the variable name now india is displayed on the screen so this is how put char put ch and puts work program to print hello we saw this just now another example use the hash include stdir.h standard input output .h header file because it gives the meaning of printf and scanf we'll take up a small program now a main function in which declare integer variables let it be a comma b now to print something on the screen you know printf is the predefined function we can use in that in the set of codes the text what you type like numbers is displayed on the screen now to accept certain numbers use scanf because integers percent d one more integer percent d comma ampersand a comma ampersand b with this two integers have been displayed use printf statement use a printf statement which says sum of percent d that is for a and percent d that is for b is percent d that is for a plus b clear Now compile the program. End the main block. Compile the program. Say Control F9. It is expecting you to give numbers. Let the number be two thousand nine hundred and four, and the other number be four thousand eight hundred and fifty-three. When you add these two, you will be getting sum of two thousand nine hundred and zero four and four thousand eight hundred and fifty-three is seven thousand five hundred and fifty-seven. so in this way we can accept any numbers according to user's wish we can display or we can add the the num given numbers and display it on the screen now these are the format specifiers which we are using when it is integer say percent d to accept certain integers say percent d to print integers say percent d if it is a case of float percent f if it is a case of character percent c if it is a case of more than two characters that is a string say percent s to demonstrate all this we'll take up one more example hash include stdir.h that is for printf and scanf a main function in this i use an integer variable a i use a float variable integer variable i a float variable f 
and a character variable c i say print f enter int float char so this will be displayed on the screen now it comes to scan f i need to accept an integer person d i need to accept a float person f i need to accept a character person c along with the variable names ampersand i ampersand f ampersand c now again print them on the screen print f percent d for integer or say given inputs r percent c for integer percent d for integer percent f for float and percent c for character mention their variable names which are i f c now this particular person d is for the variable i which is of type integer this percent f is of type float which is for the variable float similarly for percent c c stands over here this with this you can display all the values on the screen and of the main with this and of brace say control f9 you can it is expecting certain inputs first enter integer so 3 is an integer now it is expecting a float 5.5 it is expecting a character let it be e so given inputs are 3 and 5.5 a float and certain extra zeros have been added and e the character what i have given as my inputs so the structure of a c program comes in this way place header file and then a main function open and close set of braces open and close here is the block will be printing or scanning or printing statements to print something the printf statement to scan something or to get certain inputs from the keyboard you scan f to clear the screen clr scr clear screen clear screen comes from conio dot h console input output dot h printf and scan f comes from standard input output dot h or std io dot h now coming to format specifiers for integer use person d as the format specifier for floats say person f as the format specifier for char say person c as the format specifier with this you can accept certain inputs you can do certain kind of manipulations you can do certain kind of printouts or scanf by all these things